Hi guys, it's Apollo with La Chat Noir Boutique. Today, I'm going to teach you how to change out batteries in these type of little guys. All right, in today's episode, we're going to I'm going to teach you how to change out the batteries in a plush that has no opening. Now, as you can tell, he's called a prayer bear. I don't know if you can hear that. But he's got this little push button um, sound box inside him. Problem is, there's no way to replace the batteries. They have sewn him in. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's quite, it's quite simple. You just have to know how to first open up a seam on this type of uh, plush fabric, good pair of scissors, of course our thread, and then I buy these in bulk because I replace a lot of batteries, but these are just lithium and they are the, uh, well, I'm bring out one of the, they have certain numbers on the batteries. This one takes an LR44. Sometimes they go by AG13, 613A, A76, and L1154. So they're called button batteries, but there's tons of button batteries on the market and you really need to know which ones you need before you buy them in bulk. I just happen to know what kind of get because I've replaced so many batteries in these. We'll put these aside. So to start, I was going to say, these are like by far like the best scissors ever. They're by Joyce Chen and they're actually like um, kitchen scissors. But they're made in Japan and I'm telling you man, they have cut through like almost anything and everything. I've had these for years. Like seriously for years and never dull. They have never dulled, never broken, nothing. I mean, they have been thrown, they have been stepped on. I'm pretty sure they have been actually ran over by a tire, like a car tire. And they have still kept their shape. Anyway, so this is called a seam ripper. Very cheap. You can get them at like Walmart, Target. You can get them at like Joann's, any fabric store. This one is like a short needle seam ripper. You can tell it's got a little, a little um, guide edge on this side. And on the other side, it's quite point. But you don't need anything fancy. It's probably like a dollar to the fabric store. And what you're going to do, every plush, especially ones that come from China, have seams down the center right here. They usually will do um, <clears throat> just a quick uh, stitch on the back here because this is their last place where they sew it because they have to put the, the little um, sound boxes in there. So we're going to find these areas and you don't really want to use scissors because you cut into the fur that really um, uh, damages the, f the fabric back here and it's really hard to keep its shape or keep it from tearing open again. So I'm going to find this the seam which I just found right there. I just found like a little thread and then you kind of pull it and you can see where you've made the, the cut. Not the cut but and then you'll know that you got it because you can just keep ripping it open. You don't want to do too much because it just means that much more. And see how I'm um, just kind of pulling the stitch out. And I don't want to take too much out because his little tail has actually been stitched in with the sewing machine. So that's where, how far that goes. And then you don't want to get too far in the head because once you start cutting into this other seam right here, oh, it's really a pain to get back in. So that is where they have um, sewn in the sound box and it has poly um, polyfiber fill in there you just kind of work it around 
And usually these sound boxes will have their own little fabric container that they stick in. That way it doesn't like end up on the bottom here or be pushed up into the head. So you have to kind of feel for it and then push it out. And you see, this is a, usually they're in mesh, but this one's in a, uh, um, just a regular cotton one. So, and it's attached to the inside of the bear on this side. So you really can't pull it all the way out. So you want to do, and if you can see, here's, make sure you remember which way it's facing. So when it goes in, this side that has the holes, it's going to go towards the front. So what you're going to do, you're going to find the, the sewn edge on top, and you're just going to pull one little thread and then work it out. You don't want to cut into this fabric. If you cut into the fabric, it is hard to sew back up. So I'm just taking out the stitch. So I can go back in there and stitch it back in. Now people are like, oh, Paula, why even try to like replace the batteries in this? Well, you know, when you have someone, especially a child, a young child, who has gotten really, you know, attached to a plush and a lot of companies do not make these anymore this one happens to be let's see uh, by kids too you know they only make these so often and they retire them and then they come up with another design so you can't get attached to these they're like that's my bear you remember the star or the blue bow or you know the type of ears that's my bear and a lot of times the batteries wear down on these after a while especially if they're continually squeezed so it's always good to uh, either have a backup plush like when you buy one buy two of them that way you'll have a backup um, but let me go um, I forgot that I need to get um, a little screwdriver to take this out so I'll be back in a minute okay I'm back with my little bitty screwdriver and this is a Phillips head we're going to take out sometimes you got to put a little pressure on it to really get it out it slides off lot easier you gotta make sure you have your battery so this one takes three button battery so we're gonna take out these and when I do these I like to um, make sure that I can see which side is facing down and go ahead and get your batteries ready your new batteries for it so you just take a screwdriver just kinda or you can tap them out but sometimes they'll go everywhere and you wanna make sure that uh, you keep them all together so these are the old ones they've kinda already started corroding everything tell you how long they've been in there so how to put these in you start with the first one and it has one side down and the button batteries all follow the same side so if one goes one way they all follow the same it's kind of like um, regular ba batteries so ugh, this is like the worst part this last one in usually I can get them in with no problem but my fingers are just not wanting to work today okay they're in there let's see if it works and it does not work
Did I put those in right? Let's see. I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, I see what's going on. It's got a little corrosion on the inside right there. So I'm going to have to go clean that out. I'll show you how to clean these out, the corrosion off, in another video. But let me just go clean it and I'll be right back. Okay. Our little butter, uh, battery thing has been cleaned off. I don't know if you can see it. It's, like it's, a, it's a little cleaner now. Okay. So we're going to put these button batteries back in it. Make sure it's facing the right way. Okay, let's test it now. I made the world so broad and grand. Shield the weapons from the sand. You made the sky so high and blue. And all the little children too. Alright, it works. Put it back in there. Now, we get to assemble it back in the back. So remember what I said at the, the beginning when I took the fabric pouch out. So make sure you remember which way it goes in. So the speaker goes towards the belly. So we put it in there, go towards the belly. And here's the holes for the speaker. All right, so I'm gonna get my thread. I usually like to get a long piece of thread and then double it up. It's got, you just put it through the needle, the eye of the needle, Put it, pull it all the way through so it's double string and then tie it at the end. It's like really basic sewing, which I'm not gonna cover in this episode, I'm just going to assume that you know. So I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to do a try to get these edges back together and I'm just going to do like a little running Go ahead and remember which way the speaker goes in. This goes towards his tummy. I made the world so broad and grand, filled with blessings from the sand. You made the sky so high and blue, and all the moon. And don't forget to do. put polyfiller, the stuffing, on top of this too. And I want the speaker to be the the thing that. It's felt. I made the world so broad and grand, filled with blessings from the sand. You made the sky so high and blue, and all the little children too. Okay, I'm gonna go thread my my needle, and then we're gonna sew them up. Okay, I have my next length of thread and needle ready. We're gonna go ahead and sew up this bear. He is, um, still together. And if you notice when you rip it from the seams, and that's why it's very important to do this, is that when they sew it, they, they leave a little edge. And usually it's already rolled over, like they steam press it and it's rolled over. So you want to make sure you don't roll that edge of that fabric up or else you'll be he'll be a little humpback. So you want to make sure you keep them together. You pull them, you can see how he's kept together like that. Alright, so we're gonna go underneath and pull this thread up. Hopefully you can see him. Like my threads uh Usually I like to wax my thread so it's easy to pull it through, but we're just going to do it like um, normal. And then we're going to go in and we're going to grab 
the other side, not the edge, but the other side where the original factory stitch was. And we're going to pull it up. And then if it's easier, you can just hold it together with two fingers. And yes, I am using white thread. I, I cannot find my brown thread, so. But it, it shouldn't really matter because you're gonna, this is gonna be hidden. And most of the time they do use white thread, unless it's like super dark. I have finished putting the stitches in and you can tell where this is the original stitches and everything else has been sewn in between. So we're going to go and cut off these. I don't want these to stick out and get caught. And there he is. Let's see. All right, so he'll be in our store, Le Chat Noir Boutique's uh, website store. So be on the lookout for him soon so you can add him to your collection. <music>